So we're learning this nice uh, Renaissance dance piece called uh, Vault by Jean-Baptiste Bézard. Okay, so he was a composer living in the 17th century, uh, 17th century French. And uh, it's a nice tune, a nice simple dance tune. There are two sections of 16 bars each, lots of repetition. So you, you learn some sections, you can play them again in the next section. Um, it's in 3-8 time, which I think was quite common for dances. Um, not very common these days, but 3-8 time, whatever. And it's in the key of G. So we've got the, basically it's based around a, a G chord, a C chord and a, a D chord. That's really what makes up the structure of it. Tabs will be on screen for patrons as always. If you want uh, tabs on screen and a PDF for, to download, then sign up for patron, Patreon and become a patron. There we go. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, fair enough. Follow along. I'm going to talk you through it anyway, free of charge. Okay, so let's get into it with um, bars one to four. One and two and three and four just uh, just repeat each other. So I'm going to start with a note D. Okay, so D, G, and A. And into B and G together. Okay, so the, the melody is... And I'm just going to add an extra G here. You could if you wanted to play the whole chord, the whole G chord, there with the D. I don't. And then the next two notes are A and B, but they're 16th notes. Back to G. Like that, and it just repeats. Moving into bar five. Okay, we're into bar five. Bar five, just two notes. C and D, okay, on the first and fourth strings respectively. And into bar six, I'm going to play the note B with my little finger here, okay? And now you think, well, it might be easier to do this, to play it here on the first uh, string. Uh, right, you know, just keeping my hand in the same position. Uh, and that will be right in uh, up until that point, but keeping the Campanella voicing going. I want this note B here, and the next note A to ring out on its own because now I'm going to play um, 16th notes again okay from A, B, C, D and to a C sharp like that okay so that's why I need to drop on a bar here and it's better for me to have my little finger on the seventh fret of the, the of the second string Okay, so I can do that. That's bar six into bar seven, C sharp, B to C sharp again, and up to D on the 10th fret of the second string. Okay, let's just do that from the beginning. That's the beginning of bar eight. And then we're gonna run down. All the way down from A to G to F sharp to E to D. And D then begins bar nine. It's just, just back into what we played before at the beginning. So that's exactly the same again. So that's bars, bars nine through to to twelve, and we have a different ending. All sixteenth notes, a very rapid run down. And let's break it down slowly. So let's do that first run. This is in bar thirteen. Little finger on D, third finger on C, Oops. first finger on B, little finger on A, second string, G open, little finger on F natural, okay, and so let's do that again. Can you just practice that a few times? Okay. That's bar 
bar 13, bar 14, okay so we're, going, we're changing from the, the F natural in bar 13 to the F sharp which is in the key of G, so E, D, pull off to C, D again, you can hammer on if you want, like that, pull off and hammer on, back to E, to F sharp, okay, that's bar 14, let's put 13 and 14 together, okay, do that again, into 15, G, A, B, G, A, F sharp, this time on the second string, second fret, and finish with a G chord. You can pluck the G chord, you can roll an arpeggio if you want, or you can strum, brush down with your thumb, whatever you want, whatever you think sounds best. Okay, let's do that all together, that, that end run from bars 13 down to 16. the end of the first section. Now there is a pickup note. Is there? Yeah, there is a pickup note moving into the second section, which is the note D. And we're going to play uh, a full G chord. So that's open seven seven five G G B D and up with my little finger holding the chord, up to E and back to D, and then another G chord, ordinary G chord where I'm barring half bar, because when I play this chord, I want to play C and D, okay, with my third and little finger, third and fourth finger, and into a C chord. Okay, so this is the beginning of the second section into bars, uh, into bar, well, 18. G. And that's your C chord. It's bar into bar 20. Okay, so 7 to 18. 19. 20. So you can, again, you can pluck it if you want. You can do rolling strum, okay, so a quick uh, arpeggio. Okay, or you can strum. Which I think is what I did on the, on the recording. <laughs> I can't even remember. Okay, now I'm going to play this uh, C chord um, with my first finger. Okay, not with my third finger as I normally would. And that's because, because I'm going to play uh, C, I want to play C, D, E, so I'm going to play C here, D on the 4th string, the 7th fret of the 4th string, and my little finger on the note E, on the 1st string, 7th fret. down to D and into a barred C chord. Okay, so a barred C chord then, or you can be half bar if you want. I think a full bar is probably better. Um, so that's five, four, three, three, and into a barred G chord. Okay, so four, two, three, two. Okay, so like that. So into that C chord, okay, at the beginning of 
bar 20. C, G, can you hear that? And from this G chord, I'm going to play C, I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to play B, C, D, and Instead of going back down to the C here on the fourth fret, as I, you know, as you would imagine the campanella. Now I'm going to play a chord instead. C chord, G chord, and D chord. Okay, like that. Okay, so let's just do that right from the beginning of um, section two, bar eighteen. So my bar G chord, C, G, D, all right, so that's uh, the end of bar 24, G, F sharp, back to into bar 25, D, B, G, So that chord there is dotted eighth and then sixteenth to for a sixteenth on the G back to S sharp to, to D to A G F sharp on the sixth fret to to E and then D to C sharp and then into bar 28 where there's a, another little you can pull off and hammer on D C sharp back to D to E and to D again Okay, so let's just do that. And then we finish with the same run as, uh, as at the end of section A, the A section. But just to make it easy for myself, I'm going to finger it slightly differently where I'm going to play the note B here. C, D, sorry, D, C, wrong way around. B, A, G, F natural, making that mistake again. F natural. E, D, pull off. Back, pull off to C, back on to E, so up to F sharp. Well, it's the same as in section one. So if you're learning section one, the only difference is that I'm keeping my hand in the fifth position here. Instead of in section A, I play the B here. That's all there is to it. Okay. Now, when I recorded it before, I played section A once and section B twice, and then you could just repeat the whole thing all over. Um, I don't know. You could play section A twice and section B twice. It's just I think that in section A, there's already that quite a lot of repetition. You already got that twice uh, already. So I don't, you know, and then again. So I don't think it's worth uh, repeating that. But I don't know how it would have been played uh, originally. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Nice and simple. 
pretty tune. I hope you enjoy learning it. And uh, we'll see you next week for another lesson. Thanks for watching.